Hey, this is Juanito's Peppers. I thought I'd do a short update. Um, so, uh, okay, first thing is, uh, my second orbit timer failed. As you can see here, it's just dead. I tried replacing the batteries, tried pressing the reset, all that kind of stuff. But that's my second one. So I'm saying screw orbit from now on. So I went and got a different timer. I got this one off Amazon. And it's simpler. There's no screen or anything. So I have it on number two, which is five minutes every six hours. So that should give a more, uh, I figured that would be a more uniform watering anyway. So um, the plants are doing good. A lot of them have gotten bigger. Uh, this row was all really pretty small because the weeds were attacking it. Um, and they're back up again, so i got to chop them down. But they're doing better now. The white hobs were like completely decimated, but now they're all bouncing back. Here's some little ones. They're really great. Really great pods. They're like uh, jelly beans, except really fucking hot. Uh, the Ahi Omni colors are always doing good. Um, got some pods on these. And some more. Looks like some of these purple peppers are going riper so it seems like they're oh, almost pink they're like whitish peach colored so that's interesting I wonder if they're gonna go brown or red here's one that's a little bit more ripe and he's just this kind of weird orange pale color I'll leave those on there a little bit more see what they go they see this plant he's a He's got the purple too when they're young, purple and green. And then he goes red. That's a Pimienta de Night cross with a butt. A boot. So, yeah, these plants are doing good. You can see they're a lot bigger than they were. Um, and they even got some pods on there. One of the best plants that I didn't even know was doing. But it's, it's gotten quite a bit bigger as this plant over here. I think it's a ghost plant. Uh, it's got a lot of these pods on there. You can see them all around. And more coming up here in this new branches. They're a pretty good size. Look at this one. It's about four inches long. And they're bumpy a little. And yeah, so that's a really good looking ghost pod. There's a couple different phenos of ghost. There's like a smoother, shorter ghost. And then there's that kind of ghost, which is the, it's longer and a little bit bumpier. I think that, that strains better. Um, and then over here, you got lots of them. This is just a sweet... Like a wax pepper, you can see. I don't really care about them that much, but figured I'd put a couple of sweet peppers in the garden anyway. These are white ghosts, or white naga. Yeah, white naga. You can see they're in there. The white ghosts are over here, and they're a little bit. They're a little bit smoother and more pendant kind of shaped. Versus the Nagas are more blocky, like a seven pod. This Ahi Brazilian starfish plant is pretty crazy. He's all spread out all over, all the way over here. So first they're green, 
just a green, normal green. And then they can turn, if they get a little bit of suntan on their shoulders, you get a little bit of purplish or brownish color. And they turn this orangish. And then they go completely red, like this. That's a fun pepper to grow. Well, we got some chocolate hobs over here. So the ones up top are small and they haven't done anything, but there's, here's one that's down here. Uh, there's another, there's more. You can see there's quite a few through the branches over there. One right here. Chocolate hobs are really cool. I think they're almost better dried or smoked or some aged a little, cured. Uh, these are uh, Bahamian goats. You can see there's quite a few in there. Quite a few down here, too. There's a ripe one that's getting ripe, and another one down here. These are our grape pod. They're really substantial. They're really pretty big and thick. Like a golf ball, just about. And they're pretty solid. Um, so they're really good. If you want to make sauce, then grow one of these plants because they'll produce pretty big pods. Lots of pretty big pods. Um... We got some Caribbean reds down here. They're really like baby Caribbean reds. As you can see, they're tiny. Only this big. Only as big as my fingernail. But they're still good. There's quite a few of those. They're really productive, so that's a good thing. Got some unknown brain strain cross pods. These are really big. Let's see, they've got kind of a little tail always. So, yeah, there's more pods and stuff, but that gives you a general idea of all the stuff that's going on. I'll post some better pictures on online. Thanks for watching.